Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In this video we are going to look at the differences between the Boeing 737 6 and 700 and the 737 8 and 900's air conditioning system. So on the left hand side here we see the uh, air conditioning distribution schematic for the Boeing 737 600 and 700 as you have seen them already in Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator. Now, you can see that we have the mix manifold with air from the left pack going right to the flight deck, into the mix manifold, same from the right pack, and then this is distributed to the uh, left and right side wall risers with a single recirculation fan returning air from the cabin through a filter into the mix manifold. Now, in the 700 and 600 we also had only a single recirculation fan which was located at the top right of the panel. Now, in the 737, 800 and 900, things are looking a little bit different, so let's go ahead and check out what this looks like. In the 737, uh, 800 and 900, the system is now a little bit more complex. Prior to entering the air conditioning packs, there is actually hot bleed air being um, taken away by the trim air system through the uh, trim air pressure and re regulator and shutoff valve which is um, controlled by the trim air button that we have on the panel up here. From there, we have our normal pack um, flow, so air from the left pack is flowing straight to the flight deck and the rest of it into the mix manifold, and the air from the right pack is going completely into the mix manifold. Now, here comes the difference. In the 737, 800 and 900, we actually have two temperature zones in the cabin, as we can see by the uh, forward cabin and the aft cabin temperature knobs over here. And um, now let's have a look at what this means. Air from the mix manifold is being distributed to the supply ducts into the cabin, but after the mix manifold, it is being mixed with trim air through the trim air modulating valves. So now, the uh, flow of air is no longer right from the packs towards the, uh, through the mix manifold to the cabin, but actually from the packs into the mix manifold, and thereafter, air is being mixed with uh, hot trim air that's been taken from the system prior to the packs in order to uh, heat the air up as necessary. Now, why are we doing this? Well, the 737, 800 and 900 have a larger cabin, so in order to reduce workload on the packs, we are uh, adding the trim air to the system in order to um, save a little bit more fuel over here since it will require less load on the packs since um, less cooling of the air has to take place. Now another difference here is that the 737 800 and 900 have two recirculation fans. We can see on the panel up here we have a left recirculation fan and a right recirculation fan. So. The recirculation fans are exactly as in the uh, smaller 737s, taking air from the cabin, feeding it back into the mix manifold to mix it with the fresh air, and from there on it's going back into the cabin, thereby reducing workload on the packs. Another difference we have over here is that we now have three cabin temperature controllers. So we have the cons cabin, which is basically the flight deck, we have the forward cabin, and we have the aft cabin. Boeing recommends to set the controllers here on the account cabin to the uh, position A, as you can see over here, for the forward cabin towards the U position, and to, in the aft cabin towards the T. And that is basically providing air at roughly the same uh, temperature throughout the entire aircraft. Now, based on personal opinion, especially in hot summer days, the account cabin is usually set to something over here, or maybe over here. But and in winter then it's usually going a little bit further to the right on the A than um, normally. Now that basically concludes a look at the changes to the air conditioning system with BMDG 737-800. Be aware that all of these are actually modeled so I do remember that some of you guys are saying well it's the same code with just the longer aircraft, it's just a different model isn't it? Well no it's not. PMDG is actually modeling, uh, modeling all those differences. So 
this is how the uh, air conditioning distribution is working now and that's exactly how it's simulated in PMDG's 737-800. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you found this one useful. And if you did, consider leaving a like to the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you really want to help out, then there is a donation link through Buy Me A Coffee in the video description below. So check that one out if you want to support the channel. For now, thank you very much for joining. I hope that you found this one interesting and I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one.